Hey guys, Henning and Morden from Flip Normals here. And in today's very exciting video, we are gonna show off uh, Z-Rep, which is a, I guess, kind of like a port of Rep3 by some crazy Russians who makes an amazing, an amazing piece of software um, that's really gonna make your life both in and out of production a lot easier. It's a tool we've been talking about a lot of times whenever people ask us, so do you model an ear from scratch in production? And we go yeah. like, no, <laughs> look, <laughs> you don't model anything from scratch in production when it comes to anything humanoid. No. You um, you have pre-made work and you, and you just conform it to it. Before we get to that, though, we just want to quickly talk about the base mesh we're working with this yep. here. This is from a friend, Vincent Manier. We did an interview with him. And he's from um, CCP Games in London, working on awesome stuff. And he has uh, this base mesh available on the Flip Normals Marketplace. Link in the description. It has UVs and is ready to basically be used in any any project you have, uh, particularly made for games. Yeah. Super solid work. Yeah, UVs are super optimized for games, so that's super yeah. nice. Yeah, I didn't really have a... Um base mesh at a hand that was um, uh, presentable. So uh, this is going to be perfect for this example. Yeah, it is. So uh, there's a free trial on the ZREP website that you can download. I think that that's just what I've installed. It's like a 30-day free trial. And then it just goes into Z plugins like this. And it's actually a separate plugin that opens up like a separate 3D window because ZREP doesn't have that, I think. It's not real 3D. Yeah. So the only real thing you need to do is you can have as many subtools as you want, but your top subtool just needs to be your low res, and the bottom subtool is your high res. And so the main principle of this is that you have a base mesh, and then you have a scan or something which is which has the shape for it. Yeah. Which is all already done. Often this is just done with an actor which has been scanned in, or it could be a dynamesh sculpt or whatever. So let's pretend this is uh, this is a very angry actor, and um, <laughs> he's been he's been scanned. That's why he has you know decimated topology. So you know there's there's no reason to go over and retopologize this. What we could do is try to conform this sort of like uh, pull this in, pull out. But with something like Rep three or Z Rep, we can do it in like a few minutes. It's such a magical tool. <laughs> yeah. So um, I we prepped a little bit before this, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load in some points here. And uh, this is just to save you a lot of suffering from watching me do this. So the first thing you wanna do is just sync the views. That way, um, when you move in one viewport, it moves in the other viewport. So what you can see is that you just sort of plot out the major landmarks on the face where there's a lot of change. Like the nose is gonna change quite a lot. Uh, where the mouth is positioned, the distance, you want the jawline, the ears, and then some points on the eyes. If you have a higher res base mesh, then you might want to plot in more points. But this this should work perfectly for this. So really what you do is you just sort of compare. It was like, okay, here's the top of the nose there. It would probably be there. And then we can say we have the bottom of the eye there, top of the eyelid, top of the eyelid, brow. There's a low brow something like that. So it's basically just you go in and you just plot in points like this. Make sure that you tap the same point. That's pretty important. And if you have sort of messed up, you can just move them around, reposition it, and then and you're basically good to wrap. So it's just depending on the complexity of your model, this can take, you know, not a very long time or a really long time, especially if you have bodies as well, that can be a little more complex. So when you're done with all that, just go into the wrapping. And you don't really have a lot of preference or a lot of settings in ZRAP compared to RAP3. It's more like a bare bones version. Maybe they're planning on updating in the future. I, I really don't know. But under your preferences, I would just leave this at default. I'm going to set the subdivisions to two just because it's a little quicker and ours is pretty low res. The higher your subdivision is, the more accurate your wrap can be, but there's also a danger of it like just exploding. So I would pretty much leave these to default. And then all you need to do is say, let's position this, start wrap. And then, you know, higher res models take a long time to wrap sometimes, especially with more subdivisions, but something like this is fairly quick. So we're done, and there we go. Now we have a face that matches our scan. This is such a magical workflow. Yeah. And then once you're done, you know, now you just subdivide it up and you just project it up. Where we have, which we have a separate video on as well. Yeah, the, then one of the annoying things about this tool, to my knowledge at least, is that there's no real support for symmetry. So you can do that with Rep3 
and but not in here. So you will have to like fix some stuff with symmetry. I'm just gonna mirror and weld for now because that's fine for me. Uh, no, that's actually not fine. <laughs> yeah, you could also use uh, under deformation a smart resim. Yeah, there are a bunch of ways of doing that. Yeah, so all you would need to do then is just you know if you were working in a production or something, then you have that tool there and oops. Then we just reproject, and then we get our details onto a mesh that has actual good topology now. Yeah. So this is a solid workflow. I mean, this is what this is, this is how you work with it in a production because there's no first of all there's no time to do a full base mesh like this every single time you need to start a new project. Um, it saves it. It doesn't just save a modeler a lot of time. It saves the texture artists because they're using the same UVs probably. Uh, rigging, they have solid UVs for whatever they're doing with, with skin weights, for grooming. So it's just, it's really a no-brainer. With a tool like this, it makes it super, super quick. Yeah, and it's almost like it doesn't even matter how much this tool would cost. Yeah. Like, because the, the amount of time you're saving on this, it's it's insane. Yeah. Like, just from, from my experience when I was a texture artist, like Morton said, you can reuse the same textures. You don't really realize how important that is until you've <laughs> got into a production and... And you can reuse so many things. Like you can get a starting point for a character out so quickly. A lot of times the bump map would be very similar because it's just mm. a poor map. And you know, if you have a character who's the same age, you might be able to reuse that either fully or you could, um, you know, use it as a starting point. A lot of times, while with texturing, you have masks for like the eyes, the lips, and all that, just so you can adjust the specularity or SSS or whatever. And if you can just reuse that, yeah. take this model, throw it into a shader, and it's just gonna work kind of like 50% already, Yeah, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, I mean, this is really what takes time, you know, getting to that point yeah. with the topology as well. Um, another little quick note is that there's, as far as I know in ZRAP, there's no support for masking yet. Mm. So uh, we were pretty lucky with the eye bags. You can see there's some issues in here, but that's probably from the reprojection actually. Yeah, that's yeah. the reprojection. But inside the mouth, like I went in and deleted this this um, sculpt here actually had like a mouth bag like for teeth and stuff. I actually went in and deleted that just to be safe. And I did the same for the um, the base mesh just because I, I've had issues with that in the past. And in rep three, you can mask it out and then it just sort of like intelligently conforms to it. Uh, to my knowledge, there's no way to do that in Z rep yet. Maybe, maybe they'll add that uh, feature in the future, but yeah. This is, uh, this is a tool that everyone should really know about, whether it's ZRAP or RAP3. Um, ZRAP just makes it really practical because you're already in ZBrush. Yeah. That was sort of my only, let's say, it's not really a nuisance or a lack of features or whatever from RAP3, but having it in ZBrush where you are working with scans and, and you know heavy models, it just makes it, it's, it's the perfect fit for ZBrush, really. Yeah, you're going to realize how useful this tool is if you, uh, you've tried to do this with the C project brush or with the project feature, <laughs> yeah. or first, you know, you, I just did this recently before this, this existed. I was not in production, just a personal project. Yeah. I had a base mesh and was just kind of using the move brush and smooth brush to conform it to it, then C project, then project all. And it, it took around an hour or so. Now an hour isn't a crazy amount of time for a personal project. I mean, who yeah. cares if it's, if it's an hour and you're gonna spend 60 hours on it, but it's more <laughs> if you have 20 of these. Yeah. Then you know you're not going to do that. It's 60 hours or 20 hours or how many ever you have, or you can just do a few points, click, and go boom. Yeah, I mean this took like a minute. Or yeah. Something like that. So it's 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 really a no-brainer. So yeah, I think I think that about covers everything for ZRap. It's pretty simple, pretty bare bones at the moment. Very powerful. Very powerful. So yeah, uh, remember to check out Vincent's base mesh again. This uh, it's a super solid base mesh. Um, I could really, I really recommend this for for everyone. Who, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, good job, Vincent. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to see more videos like this in the future, I don't know how many more videos we can do on like rap three, <laughs> but <laughs> make sure to leave a comment and like and subscribe and hit that little bell as well if you want notifications. Yes, also that. Thank you. Thanks, guys.